to another episode of Mud Pies and Magnolias. Today, on this episode, we're going to make homemade basic yeast bread. I've already got my stuff out here so we can go ahead and get started. I like to use my KitchenAid mixer because it makes it a lot easier and goes a lot faster, okay? You're going to need five and a quarter cups of plain flour to always level your cup out. There's four, there's five and a quarter. Okay, this is going to make two loaves of bread. So one for supper tonight and then one maybe for another dinner. You can put it in the freezer. We need a quarter cup of sugar. This is just plain white sugar, quarter cup. We need one and a half teaspoon of salt. And this doesn't matter if it is plain salt or iodized salt. So there's one and a half salt. And then we're going to need two tablespoons of dry active yeast. Okay, you can see this is the yeast. It's granulated. I store my yeast in the freezer. That way it stays fresher longer and it'll last for several years in the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my yeast in. All right, I'm going to get my water turned on on my sink because I'm going to need hot water here in a minute. All right, we need half of a cup of vegetable oil. All right, let's go ahead and get this down here. Now I'm using my dough hook on my artisan mixer. It's going to make it so much easier. All right, we need two cups of warm water. Usually I end up using more water because two cups isn't quite enough, but I'll measure and tell you guys for sure in the recipe. All right, so here is one and two. Now my sink gets pretty hot, so I can use that. And you need to use warm water because warm water activates the yeast. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn my mixer on and we're gonna let it mix. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up shot See how that is mixing beautifully. All right, we want this dough. You want this dough to mix for about five minutes, okay? And I can already see I'm gonna add a little more water. So about half a cup. We're just letting it mix. This is the easy part. If you don't have a mixer, you can do it by hand. It's just gonna take a lot more time and it is a whole lot harder to do. old-fashioned way you can knead the dough on the countertop so you can put some flour down put the dough down and just work the bread around and knead that dough up but I like to do it the easy way so I'm gonna do it with my mixer okay so I'm gonna let it mix for five minutes and I'll be right back with you all right so it's been about five minutes so I'm going to go ahead and turn my mixer off and I'm going to raise it up so that that dough can be dripping. I'm going to go ahead and spray my loaf pans and again this makes two loaves of bread. So you'll want to prepare two bread pans. If you don't want to make two loaves of bread, you can do one loaf of bread and one batch of say cinnamon rolls. So that's up to you. I'm going to spray my hands because I'm going to be handling this dough and I don't want it to stick to my hands. All right, let's get all this dough down. Take this off. All right. So I just go through this and I just split the dough in half, half in one pan, half in the other pan, okay? So it's kind of difficult. Sometimes you just gotta grab it with your hands. 
really ghetto. Okay, and I'm going to smooth it out in the bread pan. And then it's going to raise. So it's going to sit for about an hour in somewhere warm. I'm going to leave it close to my stove here because my stove is on. i got supper cooking. So we're going to let this dough raise for about an hour. Make sure we get it all. You can use a spoon, but I just use my hands. It's just as easy. Now this is just a quick yeast bread. There are tons and tons and tons of recipes you can find out there for how to make bread. This one is easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of mixing and it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. Now I have another recipe I'll do one day. You have to let it mix and raise like three different times. So it's an all day bread making. All right, I have my dough in my two loaf pans. I got dirty hands. And I'm gonna let this raise. I'm gonna cover it with my tea towel after I wash my hands. And once we're raised roughly about an hour, I'll come back and show you guys how to bake it, okay? All right, welcome back. I've got the bread, it has risen. Okay, we're about three quarters of the way there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven because I'm kinda on a time crunch for supper. So I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees. I'm gonna put my bread in, and then I'm gonna let it bake for about 30 minutes, give or take. And I'll keep my eyes on it and make sure that it's browning really good. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Be really gentle when you're moving the pans, because if you shake the pans a lot, your bread will fall down, you'll have flat bread. And we're not making flat bread today. So be gentle putting it in the oven. All right, I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. Went a little too far. Okay, so we're set for 30 minutes. So when the timer goes off, I'll be back to show you guys taking it out of the oven and eating it with something special, okay? All right, so our bread has been baking for about 30 minutes. Um, I've got less than 10 seconds till my timer goes off. So I have a towel so I can bring it out of the oven and put it on my counter. And I'm gonna take some butter and I'm gonna rub butter on the top, okay? Let me get it out here for you. It looks so yummy. All right, so I'm going to take this little stick of butter. I'm just gonna rub butter across the top and I'm gonna stick it back in for just a second. And what this does is it browns it to a really nice golden brown. Plus it gives it really good flavor because you can't go wrong with butter. All right, so I'm gonna put it back in the oven for just a moment. Trying to keep my heat in. All right, I'm going to put it on broil and I'm going to keep my eyes on it. I'm not going to take my eyes off the bread because it will burn really, really quick. But this gives it a nice golden crunch on the top. Um, I've got my roast ready. I've got new potatoes and green beans fresh from the garden for supper along with our homemade yeast bread, okay? Um, Mud Pie Jackson, will you get my butter out of the fridge, please? I'm watching it, and then we're gonna cut us a piece and we're gonna try it on camera. Okay. Where? Um, it's on the very top in that little bowl. See the glass bowl? Mm -hmm. Nope, that, yes, that one. Mm. Okay. Oh, cinnamon butter. Yeah, it's cinnamon butter. Get me a plate out. You're gonna eat a piece? Okay, no, um, get me a little plate. Mm. I need it either. So almost ready. What I'm reaching. All right, we've got a plate. We are going to try some of this. Okay, so you guys can, can see it. No, back up. Not till supper. I don't want this to burn. So I just have it on broil. Puppy dogs are running around. Um, it's important to always use butter instead of margarine. Butter is going to give it a better flavor. And it's gonna just, it's just so much better. I use margarine very seldom anymore. I just use straight butter. All right, we're good. I'm gonna turn it off. Mm. Look how perfect. So this is just quick homemade yeast bread. All right, let me get, this is gonna be super hot. I'm gonna cut a piece. Ooh. 
to get it out. Okay, so you can see it is steaming, but look how wonderful that this bread looks, okay? Um, I'm gonna take some of my homemade cinnamon butter. Make sure you guys catch the video to watch how to make this. It was just a little quick that I did from my phone. All right, Mud Pie, Isaiah, come here. You, sir, are going to try this. Let me give you a little extra butter. Can I have some too? No, not right now. Hold on, we don't want to be hot. Honey, that's hot. No. All right, turn around so everybody can see you eat it, okay? Be careful. How Good. is it? Let mama try it. Mm-hmm. That is so good. That tastes just like our famous steakhouse butter and cheese bread. <laughs> that is so good. Okay. Go like the video. Go subscribe to our channel. Stop eating butter. Go make some of this stuff, and I promise you, you might gain a few pounds, but it's totally worth it. Okay? So y'all have a great day and thanks for watching.